All praises to Yahweh, Wa, Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Akakwadash. Alright, and what you see here is um, basically, um, you know, the region in Germany called uh, Baden Württemberg. Alright, and this is a place where you can actually see three castles, you know, <laughs> from here, or fortress. Uh, you know, fortress uh, buildings, all right, uh, you know, so basically I'm really high right now, and what you see there, uh, you know, is snow, you know, on the bigger mountains there, you know, where it's getting cold, but this is actually one, what you can see right here, all right, so here the quality gets better, you know, when I zoom out, this is called the Burg at the fortress Singenhundwil, all right, now I zoom out. I can show you pictures of that also, you know, after the video. You know, and that's actually where I'm right now, you see. So this is another one. And it's called... Um, Kren, all right. You can check that on Google, you know, basically. You know, of course, Esau, you know, made his, uh, you know, bigger windows in there, you know. Of course, you know, in the so-called dark ages, you know, basically you didn't have these kind of big windows, you know. So they were, of course, you know, a little bit smaller, you know. All right. But, you know, this is what's, what's, what basically left from, you know, this, uh, this time, man. All right. And, you know, now I go to another one, you see. So actually you can see three from here, you know. Check this out, man. Alright, this is called Magdeburg. So, you know, it's not that high like this one. You know, the other one, what I showed you, and this one right now, you see. You see, check, you know, check this out, you know. There are some houses there, you know. So, I already climbed to like, you know, five to ten minutes or so, you know. This is actually a bigger one. I actually wanted to uh, go there, but uh, I don't know how maps kind of brought me here, you know. <laughs> okay, um, this is the gate, you see. I want to zoom in so you can see it, but the light is so uh, strong right here, you know. Now I have my hand on it a little bit. So this is the house and there you go with the gate you know here. okay that's the gate here okay I don't know how big this was you know back then and all that you know but um, you know clearly you had a strong uh, you know a strong fortress you man all right because it's uh, you know that high man you know just like the other one man all right so I'm at the end here okay you know I didn't even know uh, if it's open or not. There you go, man. Here it's a little bit uh, shadow here, so I can show you the other one. Beautiful, man. You see that? That's the other one, you know, not far from here. And then the other one, right there, man. You see? I didn't know if this had open or not, but I, you know, wanted to visit it, you know, for your archeon. Okay. Germany had also beautiful, uh, beautiful castles, man, you know. Very beautiful, man. All right. Also in Bavaria, there's one that is called um, uh, Schwanthaler Höhe, you know. And, you know, uh, England got some beautiful also. We got one here that is actually very, very, um, you know, very good looking. Still to this day, it was never taken over, basically. And it's called Burg, uh, you know, Castle Melz. All right, in the German tongue, you say Castle Melz, all right, or Fortress melts all right i think i will visit that also but it's more private you know this is kind of open to visit you know but the brook melts basically the castle melts it's kind of uh, private you know i think it costs like seven eight euros so you can uh, you know check it out a little bit with with some uh, employee there you know but it's mostly uh, inhabited actually you know 
but it's also you can't uh, see the interesting things basically you know but from the outside you know it was never uh, touched basically man <laughs> all right but this year man okay it's over with, with that castle man you see it, it uh, you know it's basically uh, even to the step beautiful but you can clearly see that it was taken over you know maybe a uh, a fire broke out, you know, most of these castles are, you know, uh, somehow destroyed, you know. But that's beautiful, man. You know, I just wanted to show you this, okay. Um, okay. And to bring some scriptures out, you know, but, you know, just uh, quoting, okay. You know, I got my Bible with me, actually, you know, so lucky for that. Um, you know, I have to film, so you know I can't use my phone to bring out um, uh, the scripture, you know, and make make a video. Okay, but you know, you had this, you have the scripture on Satan was um, in prison for a thousand years. Okay, you have the Dark Ages being actually um, there's a website that is called Real History www or Real History dot www you can see clearly there, okay, that, you know, from the, uh, the so-called Dark Ages, what you can see in Wikipedia, um, you know, basically, I uh, studied, you know, the time from uh, 900 to, like, 10, uh, 1000, uh, basically 16, uh, 1600, man, all right, you had King James, okay, the King James Bible, 1611, you see, so the Dark Ages were basically so-called Negroes, Latinos and Indians ruling uh, even here in uh, Germany, man. Okay, in Euro Europe, all right, Israelites. But you had the Maurish, uh, the Moors, you know, which is basically the Islamic, uh, what was the Islamic, um, basically, uh, the Islamic Negroes, okay, or basically the Islamic uh, religion, uh, you know, basically involved with the Israelites. So that was a very bad history if you think about that but what I studied also is that really we had peace okay we had peace with the Muslim you know you know you had this cross aiders and this and that all right but then Esau came and basically they uh, made you know basically it impossible to live with Muslims you know this and that you know but we had basically peace man all right you know we we knew that Ishmael you know this and that okay but you know it was not all just Israelites and not just Christians and this and that, okay, you had the religion of Islam there uh, also, man, all right, that's what it was the problem, that's why we fell also, man, all right, again, you can read that, okay, it's just called Dark Ages by Esau because they don't want to basically know their own history or study their own history, okay, you know, there's a scripture on, and surely they shall say, our uh, we have, uh, our forefathers gave us basically lies, so right? that's just pretty much the same, okay? You think in these German schools to tell you about the Dark Ages, no man? Alright, they tell you about the Renaissance, so called, you know, and you know, and this and that, okay? Just visit the website and go on Black Germany and you will see, alright? Um, you know, I'm not saying that this is all true what he says there, okay? But just, you know, eat the flesh and put out the bones, okay? Because he's also uh, not only true for what I know, <laughs> alright? He, talks about albinos, you know, pretty much all the whole time, okay, but uh, really this is not about melanin, all right, because you have many, as Apostle uh, Gabal said it, you have many Israelites being in Germany, not looking like a typically uh, Israelite man, okay, Negro, Latino, Indian, okay, because we are the speckled bird, man, all right, so, you know, and this is, this, these, these castles, man, all right, they are a sign of, of what happened here in Germany also, man, okay, Okay, you know, full, uh, full, you know, people with beard, uh, ruling here, man. Okay, Israelites. Okay, no, you know, Israelites basically, man. All right. So this is really, you know.